So last week we talked about the benefits of keeping a sketchbook and I thought it would be helpful to show you a super simple sketchbook kit that fits into literally any purse or backpack so you can keep your commitment to your sketchbook routine. First one is the minimalist. The minimalist, you want to just have a teeny tiny little sketchbook that fits into the back pocket of your pants. Um, this is a little moleskin one that I have, the little snap thingy. You can have like a little pouch for loose drawings you can put in here. And all you need is a ballpoint pen. And the kind of drawings you get from this kind of um, kit are super simplistic. They're nothing fancy. But the beauty of it is that it travels so easily and you'll never find yourself without something to sketch with. So that's one of my favorites, the minimalist. The second kit that I have is the play kit. And for the play kit, you can play with an assortment of inks. So you have your ballpoint pen, you have a fine liner, which looks like this, like this. And then you can have brush pens, and there is a difference between having a brush pen with a nylon tip and a brush pen with a hairy tip. And for this kit, I recommend that you travel with a pencil. And if you care about having a fine tip on your pencil, bring a pencil sharpener and an eraser. The kind of drawings you get with this kit look like this. So here, this was done with this kind of a pen, super loose, super sketchy. I didn't even do an underdrawing with a ballpoint pen. This is the kind of drawing, so I was getting into some value work with a fine liner. You get a result like this. So for the brush pen, you get a nice variety of thicker and super delicate lines, all with just this kind of tool. But of course, because I'm no genius, I needed to have an underdrawing for this first. Then the last kit, the third kit that I have for you, I call the traditionalist. And this is what you want for this one. Pencil for your underdrawing, a pen holder with a nib, and just go for a fine point here, nothing fancy. You don't need a calligraphy nib, just something that goes to a fine point is perfect. You need dipping ink, so they come in these little containers. This one is white ink, of course you'd want to go with a black or brown ink. And then I like playing with a water brush pen, in particular if your ink is water soluble. So you use this to create a wash first, which would look like this. See this tone here? You would create that wash with this and your ink, and then you let it dry, and then you work back over it with your nib to create the line work, the textural line work. Another example that you can get with this kind of setup without the tone is this. And the thing that's so cool about this traditional nib is that's a little bit unpredictable. So you get kind of these little accidents that happen. You can get a fairly even nice line, but you have these little accidents which just bring more excitement into your sketches. So I hope one of these three will appeal to you. What I recommend is that you find some sort of a travel container. So here I have like an old camera lens holder and I fit all of my stuff in here, it's protected, I close it up, and I can take it into the field without having to worry about losing anything.